Greetings, all praise King Sivasi. You hear the feces talking about this exploration to multi planet, and they're saying, you know, not only are people going to vacation to Mars and the moon, yet they're going to be living there. And this is necessary, according to one of the feces, because there's a doomsday that will occur. <clears throat> I would like to know how he has obtained this theory. Is it based on scientific evidence? Is it based on his own presumptions? People should be paying more attention to this, not just take these feces for face value. So, what is actually happening? There's a limited supply of resources, and there's people on the earth that have too much. So, they take for granted what they have, and they desire more. Except they cannot attain more with the mass populations currently on the earth. So, there's an in, a need for a holocaust, a real holocaust. And the objective is to design a lobby so they can wait until everything smooths over. They can come to the earth and live again with each other. Sounds kind of simple and a little ridiculous. It's just, you have to be able to empathize and to see yourself as one of these people and to think about how they're thinking because the people on the bottom are becoming more aware. There's more information. You could say they're more educated. Not all, yeah? But there are certain of us that are seeing the situation for what it is. And there's a need for you know, a transitional phase to make man to machine and in the process there has to be reason they can't just send people flyers and say hey we're going to put a microchip in your head you have to just come meet us at 9 30 tomorrow morning you know they have to get people excited about this so a lot of what they do is to entertain people to pull them in to make them feel like they're they're, they're welcome and this, this is their family you know like the ted talks you know technology entertainment design. It's a design using the technology. It has to be entertaining to get people interested. And there's a need for an ultimate goal of the species. Previously, wars had been the reason for development. Most of the greatest development of man came from wars. These are not positive outcomes, but they are great. They have an impact. So as time moves on and people begin to see you know, man's hypocrisies, they step back, or step away. We step forward, you know, but we stepping away from man. Right? And taking a look at the situation and saying, no, no more. Are we going to be a part of this? So there's a need for people to contribute. The, the, uh, the tolls or tributes, as they were called in the scripture, to Caesar. These tributes are taxes. You know, that's why you have tax collectors as politricksters. They're doing many tricks. It's a magic show. A 
their goal, their objective is to collect taxes. Right? Without the taxes, the dollar loses its lust. And those investors, externally, internationally, won't invest because there's no interest. So the taxes are necessary for a functioning government that functions on the behalf of the oppressive classes internationally. And when people see that these taxes are not being used for the benefit of the people, there's a pull out. And so there's a need to begin the process of, of, of developing a mindset where people buy in. And in that process, there has to be, you know, like uh, an incentive, something, a carrot that people will chase and say, hey, there's a reason to chip in, you know, to contribute. And this is this new space exploration. Mark Zuckerberg, one of these feces, sends a rocket. It's cost a couple hundred million, it blows up in space. Feds print more money or shit coin and distribute it back to the corporation. Try, try again, everybody suffers. But hey, you know, we're all working together for something. You know, like the pedophile, the psychological operation to unify people around what? 